something about this place. It just feels so... familiar. You been around this part recently, Rick? Not that I can remember. Same house as the Pigman murders. Alright, suspect's house is this way. Let's take this time to review Agent Sully. Okay, Robocop. So, I heard this guy who lives up here murdered his whole family. Kids and all. Scorched the place while they were sleeping. A real messed up psycho. The loony pleads insanity and next thing you know, we're sent to check out the crime scene again to see if his story checks out. Alright, so we're gonna have to review the crime. Step by step go over the murders. The fire department came too late to save most of the house. The whole thing started in the bedrooms. Poured gasoline on the family while they were sleeping. Guy has paranoid personality disorder and a bad case of schizophrenia that makes for some real evil hallucinations. Mistake your wife for a monster and, well. It can get ugly. At least, that's what the guy claims. What kind of monsters are we talking, Sully? Green ones or furry ones? <laughs> I wouldn't be laughing, Rick. Why do you say that? Bad voodoo around here. Found anything useful, Agent? It's Detective, Sully. Oh, whatever. He ran through here and fell to his knees in the garden. That's where the police found him. Catatonic. That's right. So, what are you saying? I don't know, Sully. Something doesn't feel right about this investigation. Why would we be going out here again? I think the guys down at the station are hiding something. No, Rick, don't think like that. I need you to have a focused mind right now. This case depends on it. All right. But I got my eye on Campbell, huh? huh. Did you hear that? I didn't hear anything. No, it came from over here. Follow me! Shh! Freeze! What's your name? What are you doing here? I... I... What are you doing on our crime scene? I was just taking a piss. For the love of God. Sully, can I talk to you for a minute? Stay right there, would you? Sully, I don't trust this guy. I think... I think he might be an undercover spy on us. What are you talking about, Rick? Did you not listen to anything I said earlier? The captain's been out to get me since the Pigman murders. I feel like they're behind this, and are potentially tampering with the evidence. And why would he be doing that? Because if I don't solve this case, I... I don't stay on the force. I'm sorry to hear that, Rick. We're going to solve this murder. Just... Remember to keep your head clear. Go take a walk or something cool down for a bit. A crime like this can strike the mind of even the strongest man. I'll make sure this rogue officer doesn't touch anything or go anywhere. All right? Yeah, all right. already said this was too close. Lay low or he'll think we're up to something. Sully's in on it too. You've 
bastard, Sully! Rick, wait! I knew the department was loaded with crooks, but I never thought you would be one of them. I thought you were someone I could trust! Go get back up. Who are you? What do you want? No. No, I would never. You have the wrong man. I'm here to solve the case. The case. You finally pieced the puzzle together. What are you talking about, Sully? Do you remember, Rick? You're behind all this, aren't you, Sully? Please, Rick. Try to remember. No! We were sent to help you remember. Oh, it can't Remembering be. is the first part of recovering. It's me, Dr. Sullivan. Remember? I did it. My wife. My kids. No. Think, Rick. How did you know where the house we came was? from the war? We were never even at the it station. It was our last hope of bringing you back. Rick! Rick, no! Who knows? This may be for the better. Even with his insanity plea passing, the place they would have put him in, institutionalized. Like a monster. He's better off here, home with the family. Everyone who lives here, they love the house. All the previous owners lie here. They rise and fall in this home, maybe even rise again. Much like a captain going down with his ship. It's pretty poetic when you think about it. Hmm. I know he was a friend of yours. I'm sorry. Something about him changed after he moved into this place. Something in his mind. Those murders had really messed him up. Knocked a few screws out of place. I think the screws were already pretty loose if he could kill his whole family like that. No, the original murders. You know. Oh. Well, we don't talk about those. That... Whatever that was, we don't... Not anymore. Something we can all agree on. Good. Then. This house has stood here many years. Rick's one mistake burning this place. He didn't finish the job. <laughs>